Bingo. Hey, it's Mary from Pingua. Welcome. So glad you're here. Welcome to Levels Part 2. I'm going to show you how I made the Critter Chorus game for Level 2 a little harder and set in a different scene. As you can see, they go from the spotlight to the Arctic scene. Let's take a look at the code. So all of it depends on the score. We start in the spotlight setting and then if the score equals five, switch the backdrop to the Arctic setting. Now, it all depends on gaining points. Let's take a look inside one of the critters here, the first critter, and see how those points are gained, how the score increases. So we have here, if touching the microphone, so when the critter says something, all wrapped in a forever loop, so it keeps checking to see if the critter is touching the microphone when it talks, it changes the score by one. That if then block fits right inside the forever loop and the forever loop will keep that if then code running continually checking to see if the critter is touching the microphone. I can choose from the dot drop down menu what I need it to touch to gain a point. And in this case, I want the microphone. Change the score and see that little drop down menu opens all the variables. I want the score to change by one. And I have a little wait block there for five seconds to make sure that the code doesn't tell the score to keep going up, even though it's just because I haven't moved my cursor away from the critter. So it asks it to wait before it adds more. So let's take a look at critter two. So when the critter says share your game forever, if, wrapped in that if then block, if touching the microphone, when it talks and says that share your game, change the score by one and wait five seconds before it adds another score for that critter for touching the microphone. So again, in the next critter we have, this critter says make a game and then forever. When it says make a game, if touching the microphone, if I get the microphone to that critter and touch it with it, then change the score by one. And again, the wait five seconds. Let's take a look in the next critter. And same code here, share your game and then forever. The computer will keep checking to see if I'm touching that critter with the microphone, change the score by one and wait five seconds before awarding another point for touching that critter. At the beginning, the score is set to zero and if the score equals five, then it switches to the next level, the Arctic scene. So let's take a look at what changes in the next level to make this game a little harder. So when the backdrop switches to the Arctic scene, that's the next level, again wrapped in that forever loop, I've asked the critter to wait or I've told the critter to wait and I've got this green, not blue, sorry, green operator's block in that hole where usually we just see wait some seconds and we can put a number. Well, look, I can put that pick random number in. And here from the blue motions block, I have a go to random position. That's from the blue motion blocks. And that slides in next. And then I have another wait block from the orange control blocks. And we've seen this before and we've just put a number in there, but again, I've got the green operator block that says pick random number from one to 10, which means the computer gets to choose one of those numbers instead of me putting the number in. Then it will say, hey, for two seconds. And if I get the microphone to it and touch it with it, then change the score by one, I gain a point. All wrapped in the forever loop so that the computer keeps checking to see if those conditions are true if they're happening. Let's take a look at it large. 
So give the mic to the critter who says something and you gain a point. The first level's pretty easy. I don't know who's going to speak, but they're just there on the stage. They're not moving. And once we get five points with this level, then it switches to the Arctic and the second level begins. And the critters begin to wait a number of random seconds before they move to a random location. And then they wait a random number of seconds until they say, hey, and I have to touch them with the microphone, get the microphone to them. They've got something to say and I gain a point. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so glad you were able to come and see how to add levels to your game. Levels are a fantastic way to add more challenge to your game and to make the fun of your game last longer. I can't wait to see what you create. Tune into Pingua.com for lots more fun and I really hope to see you in the next video.